you guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Wednesday and Saturday they are the new updated dates just in case you guys were wondering why I haven't been posted on the other days is because I did switch them just because it was a little bit more convenient for me and it just ended up working out a lot better but you guys, as you guys seen in the title, I am doing a gelic set. These are going to be medium square tips and these are going to be in natural. So I'm going to go ahead and prep these. I sized them off camera. Prior to this, she did end up having a set on. So we went ahead and removed prepped her nails and all of that jazz. So I am just going to go ahead and etch the inside of them. Before, I was using um, a thing to etch the inside with the liquid instead. But you guys, honestly, I really love using the sanding band. I feel like the nails stick so much better down. And I feel like I don't have any of that weird lifting or anything like that. So if you guys want to know more in depth about that, just let me know. And I feel like this is a lot faster for me, actually. So... Yeah, so the great thing about these tips is that they are kind of more of that tapered square. It gives like where it looks a little bit coffiny, but I really, really like them. My clients love these and the natural tips, this client in particular, she really loves. I am going to go ahead and go in with my dehydrator just to go ahead and dehydrate these nails, making sure that there are no oils or anything like that. I know some people, I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they don't dehydrate. But me personally, I feel like dehydrating is a big thing when it does come to prep and making sure that the nails stay on. This client in particular, she does go around six to seven weeks with her nails. Um, usually if she wants to switch up, she does try to do the four weeks, but she will go longer than that. So these nails typically last for a really long time if you get them professionally done and making sure that they are done right. So there is a lot of different things that you could do to make them stay on. Unfortunately, I didn't have from the very, very beginning, but I do have a set that I had did on her that I'll go ahead and link at the end of this video. It is the Gel X. It's a French tip with pink and little hearts on it. These are actually her hands in that video as well. So if you guys wanted to see that set and kind of have a little bit more in depth on how I prep the nails, that video goes more in depth than that. But it is a different shape of nail that I am doing in that video. But for this time, she did want to keep them square and keep them pretty short, which in the past, her nails, honestly, they have been longer ones that we've done on her. But she always picks like really, really cute things. I love the things that she picks. Um, I don't know. She picks like fun, sometimes simple, sometimes like, I don't know. It's just always different things that she does, but they're always really pretty. So... I'm going to go ahead and apply a protein bond on her nail and this basically makes sure that the nails are going to last. You always want to use your protein bond after you use your dehydr dehydrator just because it allows the nails to stick a lot better. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my gel lamp. This gel lamp you could get from Montage Nail Supply. Unfortunately, they do not have it online. I wish they did because I absolutely Love this lamp. This thing keeps a charge for a long time and I feel like it's pretty compact and it gets the job done. So honestly, I love this for flash carrying and everything like that. And I don't have to worry about holding it in place. I could kind of just let it attach and then move on to the next note like how I am right here. And so normally when I am working on the nails, I like to have my nails laid out in a certain way where it's easy for me to remember what nail goes where so a lot of times like honestly if you would get them mixed up a lot of times because the the numbers are filed off of them you cannot see so it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt um but yeah so keep that in mind and try to keep them in the same layout um and get in the habit of always having them in that layout so you, you you're in your mind you already know and you don't have to think twice before you even pick them up so I'm going to go ahead and hold that down, press on my light, and make sure that there is no air bubbles. If there is, kind of maneuver it in a way and press down in different ways where it allows that air bubble to escape.
if you guys are an at-home nail DIY person and you are wanting to do a pray nails, I definitely recommend getting a light like this even if you are somebody who's doing nails or working on your own nails. I love this. I feel like it allows me to do my nails wherever I am at if I needed to take it on the go. So honestly, this light is a must. Anything that you could get that is rechargeable, I absolutely love, especially if you are an at-home nail tech, especially because I know with me, when I would DIY my nails before I became a nail tech, I do feel like I would kind of end up doing my nails pretty much anywhere I could if I was outside, inside, but I know with gel products, it is a lot harder to do them outside, especially because if the light is super, super bright, chances are your products are going to be cured by the sun, believe it or not they will cure your product. So you really want to make sure that you're keeping all gel products out of the sunlight and so you're able to keep them for a long time and making sure that they are nice and good and they don't end up becoming clumpy because that's some things that will happen is if you do leave them in the sun, the sun will create clumps in your products because it's trying to cure but it won't usually cure the whole thing in short amount of times or just opening and closing the bottles. So just keep that in mind if you are somebody who's DIYing your nails. But you guys, you guys could see, um, usually before I put the tips on, I or before I put the gel in the tips, I will put them on the nail and see how long their nail bed is and kind of keep a mental note of that and apply the gel so then after I could... Um, have it into have it the length that it needs to be just because sometimes I feel like I end up not putting enough gel and things like that and then I end up having to pull it off and adding more so I mean that is not a bad thing but I feel like sometimes doing it where I look at where the fingertip or the fingernail ends I feel like I'm actually able to allow myself to prevent myself from doing that and I end up actually putting a good amount on. It does kind of take a while to kind of learn the happy medium of how much glue, especially if you are working on a lot of different people. If you are doing this on yourself, you'll kind of get in the habit of being able to learn the amount that you need for your nails, especially if you're only working on your nails. But when you are working with this product, working on every Every person's nails with this product is completely different. You will find so many different things of like if you like the natural shape for certain people in the sculpted shape. So uh, if you guys are new to a prey, a prey, they do have a lot of different tips where they have different shapes, lengths, and sizes and the styles. So the different styles that they have is either natural nails, which is kind of more flat, doesn't have as high of an apex but the sculpted ones have a little bit higher of an apex and they kind of appear like as if they would be thicker but the tips are still very very thin so um definitely if you are using this on a client this is great for people who like to keep their nails very 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 thin and they complain about thick nails so i had a client today come in and say that she was going to a nail tech prior and that she said that she was telling me the things that she didn't like about her nails which I love because then after I'm able to kind of perfect what I am doing on them and allowing me to kind of nitpick their things that they they don't like about the nails and kind of make it the style that they want and things like that so with that being said um <laughs> I with her I did end up kind of having a consultation with her and I was we were trying to figure out whether she was a candidate for acrylic gel nails or gel extensions which is this the gel -X. so we did end up putting some gel -X on her unfortunately I didn't have a video but she did actually really really like it because she loved how thin and natural the nails looked that's what she kept on mentioning is that they look super super natural and she loved that so even if you are somebody who is trying to grow out your nails having this gel x on top of them it, it actually helps protect your natural nails so with that being said you're able to grow them out and making sure that they aren't going to break and i love that because with a lot of my clients nowadays they are switching to gel and we are able to get their 
nails nice healthy and long with these which I actually love because it it just kind of gives it protection without and they're able to come in like four weeks later and already have a good amount of length to their nail where we might not even need to even put gel -X on it or maybe they'll go twice with the gel -X and then eventually go back to their natural nail all right you guys so back to the tutorial now that I am done filing and shaping, which honestly, I don't do too, too much. You guys pretty much seen what I do. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the polish. This is from Tracy's Nails, also known as Colorland Gels. If you guys haven't already tried this, I am not sponsored by them by any means, but their stuff is amazing. I love her brand. Honestly, one coat of this and I could have been done, but of course, I am so nitpicky. I love to do too. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and paint these on. And you guys could look and see how smooth that goes on. Some of them, they are a little bit thicker, so you do have to allow them to self-level. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with... It is a polish from a prey, and it is called Jessica. This one I've had for a really long time, but you guys could see that this product is a lot thicker than the other gel. So with applying this onto the nail, honestly, working it into the nail and getting it smooth is something that you kind of have to work on. I do feel like these gels are for somebody who is definitely in the industry rather than somebody who is just trying to DIY their nails because chances are if you got these to DIY your nails, I don't think you would like them because they are very, very thick, um, and it's kind of hard to maneuver them. Sorry for my little crazy baby hairs all up in the camera. I am always like, I'm always trying to be so close to my work so I could see what needs to be done. And I don't know, I'm just so picky. I need to make sure I'm getting every little nook and cranny when I'm painting and all of that. So please excuse that. But now, um, after I went ahead and cured that, this is the second coat that I am going in with. So I don't show me curing on here just because if I did, it would take so much time in between clips. And I don't want to do that to you guys. So I went ahead and cured and then I applied the second coat. She didn't want to do another coat on the pinky pointer finger and the thumb. So we went ahead and wiped away the dispersion layer and went in with that same color that we have on the middle finger and the ring finger and we're just going to go ahead and do a french tip with the both of these she wanted to do make sure that the french tip was nice and thin she didn't want it thick at all so we of course i was trying to get it to her liking and i went ahead and showed her to see if this is how she liked it and she did so i went ahead and moved on to the next ones and mimic the same exact kind of french tip i know it's hard to see it in the video but you guys will be able to see it at the end pictures so just stay tuned for the very end and if you guys need inspo of how to take your pictures and things like that that is really good to kind of stay tuned to the very end so you guys are able to see that this liner brush that i am using for the artwork it is opulence nail co if you guys want to check that out i'll go ahead and leave the links to everything down below so definitely recommend checking that out. If it is not linked down below, definitely make sure to check out my Amazon storefront because I do have a ton of stuff located in there if you guys want to know the airbrush that I use because I've been getting a lot of questions on what airbrush I use and things like that. So if you guys want to check out that and any other things that you guys might see in a video that you might like and see if what I use definitely make sure to check on my Amazon storefront link below you guys are able to click that link tree link and then a whole bunch of different links will pop up and it'll say Amazon storefront so click on that and it'll take you there so and if you guys want to find my Instagram and things like that everything is all in the link tree <laughs> sorry you guys I just want it to be simpler for you I am I don't want this to come off the wrong way as if I'm complaining about anyone asking me because honestly, I really don't mind. I just want it to be easier for you guys and allow you guys to find the things that you need that will help you guys kind of save time and money instead of like trying out a million different things and seeing if you even like it. <laughs> so that is pretty much why my storefront is there is because I was a beginner nail tech at one point 
in my life and I feel like honestly at the time it was so hard um in the industry because at the time no one really wanted to share their tips and tricks and things like that so that is kind of why I ended up actually starting my YouTube channel was so I could be able to show you guys and share with you uh, all the different things that I learned that make my job easier so you know hopefully one day I will be able to have my own line of products so I could share even more things with you that will make your guys's life easier as a nail tech because I know the struggle and I know how stressful it is trying to find like quality products that actually work good and things like that so yeah that's pretty much the whole reason why I started my channel and hopefully from here on out I will be able to venture out in more things but yeah so you guys, real quick to touch base on what I am doing, I went ahead and kind of just painted all over this French tip, and now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with this brush. This brush I actually got from Hobby Lobby. Sorry you guys, I was having a brain fart. But I ended up getting it from Hobby Lobby, and I wanted to try it out for cleaning up my Frenchies, and of course, I loved it. Now that I am done with that, I went ahead and cured them in the light, but I am now going in with this lighter polish this lighter polish is also from colorland gels tracy's nails um and i'm gonna go ahead and go in with kind of i want to make sure i have like a thicker a thicker layer of it i don't want it to be too too thin when i am applying it so the more the better i mean however thick you want to make your lines you're able to but even if you have to trace over the design to kind of puddle that john or that gel on there better you're able to do so so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and making sure I'm keeping it nice and thick the great thing about these polishes you guys is if you do plan on doing the sweater nails um, you are actually able to kind of build it on there and make it thick without it actually spreading out and making a big old mess so it, definitely I love using these for my sweater nails. I don't really like to use other gels that have like a very thick dispersion layer because a lot of times I feel like it puddles out and it absorbs kind of weird. But now I'm going to go ahead and get this clear acrylic. This one is from Not Polish, but I've used a lot of different brands before and I feel like any clear acrylic will do. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and put that on there and keep on dumping it. The more... 3d like that you want your sweater print to look like definitely add more acrylic and make sure you are getting all of that gel to absorb that acrylic so and then after that once you are done doing your art and pouring the clear acrylic on there and it's looking the way you want do not dust it off to see how it looks because you will smear your whole entire design make sure to pop it in the light first and then dust it off so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this and if you guys have any questions make sure to comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you guys out so yeah <laughs> All right, once I went ahead and cured that top coat, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with that same top coat and outline this Frenchie, and I am going to go ahead and get this Montage Glitter, and I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this glitter on top of that wet polish, or that wet top coat, 
and I'm it's basically mimicking the same thing that I had did for the sweater nails and I'm just gonna go ahead and add this glitter on and pop it into the light you guys but this is the finished look after I pulled it out of the light and dusted it off but you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and join the fam all right you guys have a good night and a good day or good afternoon <laughs> all right bye bye Thank you.